Welcome back to West Texas for another bison hunt. Rhonda's going to be using her 1885 replica chambered in 4570. It's very windy, so we're going to have to get close. Stay tuned, it's a great hunt. We loaded up in our modern day stagecoach, the Ranger, and headed out in search of another monster West Texas bison bull. It took us a little while, but we finally located this huge bull several thousand yards out. We circled around to get in position on the bull, and just as we did, he reminded us who's the boss and let us know that he was really unhappy with us being inside of his comfort zone. After a brief discussion, we grabbed our rifles and we were headed out after the big bull. Alright, about 200 yards out, the big bull, that's where we're headed. It's real windy so we want to try and get closer. We got Buffalo Bill Cody here, another 45 Windy conditions helped cover any noise we made as we stalked up on the big bull, so all we had to do was make sure he didn't see us. We kept brush between the bull and ourselves as we got closer and closed the distance. We made it to the last bush providing cover and were inside 120 yards to the big bull. After a quick final discussion about shot placement and where to hold in this wind, we eased around the edge of the bush and Rhonda gets ready for the shot. Once Rhonda got steady in the wind, the bull turned to face us, and it seemed like it took forever for him to turn broadside, but after a few tenths seconds, he finally turned broadside and gave her the perfect shot she was looking for. Rhonda made a great first shot, but on a bull this size and dangerous, we weren't taking any chances. So she quickly reloaded, and as the bull presented a nice quartering away shot, she put another round in him. Rhonda had been doing a great job of keeping her composure until after the second shot. That's when bison fever took over. The excitement got to her, she had to take a knee to catch her breath. As we walked up to where the bull had been standing, it was obvious by the blood trail that the first two shots had hit their mark. The bull was down, but we didn't want to take any chances. Plus, we wanted to go ahead and end his suffering, so we moved in for one final shot.
Bull jumped up and ran a little bit after our final insurance shot, but he only went about 20 yards and was down. This bull was huge. He looked like a Volkswagen laying there. The smiles on her faces says it all. This was a huge bull, and Rhonda had taken him with her 4570. She was a little afraid to touch him at first, but once I convinced her that he was down for good, she finally walked up and got her hands on him. Every time I walk up on one of these big bulls, I'm always amazed at their size, and Arden and Rhonda were the same way. The more they got their hands on him, the more they couldn't believe how big he was. He's an absolute monster, and Rhonda did a great job. With congratulatory hugs and handshakes and one final thumbs up from Arden with a plug for Double Diamond Outfitters, the fun was over and it was time to get to work. This has been another successful hunt brought to you by Double Diamond Outfitters. Thanks for watching. For more info on this hunt or any other hunt offered by Double Diamond Outfitters, contact Wes Mundy at 210-602-3118 or visit our website at www dot hunt double diamond dot com